Hi there, it's Maria. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. And today I think I'm going to attempt something that I've never made before. And I want you guys to stick around because you'll be seeing all the bloopers if there's any. Most likely will be. Um, hot crust buns, seeing that it's our Easter holiday weekend. And I do miss those hot crust buns from Canada. And um, why not make them here? It'll be my first attempt and I'm hoping they'll turn out really good. I found this really good recipe from one of my uh, YouTuber um, friends. So I'm gonna try it and I'm hoping you guys will try it as well and enjoy it. I'm up for the challenge today. So I got all this energy in me. So let's get busy. crust buns here we come it's my first time making them so I don't know how they're gonna turn out but let's hope they're gonna turn out delicioso anyhow stick around and uh, let's get to it I've got the two bowls a large mixing bowl and a smaller mixing bowl I like to keep the wet ingredients separate from the dry ingredients I have three teaspoons of uh, rapid rye, rye yeast um, you can use instant yeast that's fine I've got half a cup of white sugar, one and a half cups of warm milk, four and a quarter cups of white flour, all-purpose all flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cloves, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of raisins, one orange zested we're using the zest from one orange which i've got prepared already three and a half tablespoons of uh, butter now i've got salted butter it's been melted and cooled one egg at room temperature so that's how we're going to start we're going to mix our wet ingredients separate from our dry ingredients i've got a hand mixer with the dough um, hooks because i don't have one of those fancy kitchen aid it works just as good in the large mixing bowl, we're going to throw in the sifted flour. There's four cups, four and a quarter cups of flour. Okay. Then we're going to add in our sugar. What did I say the sugar was? I'm just going to be repeating myself. Half a cup of sugar. So we're going to add in our salt. Our dry yeast and our um, top, uh, sorry, nutmeg, cloves, and cinnamon. Look at that. Talk about fragrant. It's unreal. I love it. So that's the dry ingredients. I'm actually going to just grab my whisk. It'll be easier to do it that way. The whole purpose is just to make sure that all the dry ingredients are completely combined well. So the yeast will be distributed evenly in there. Oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas. Or should I say Easter? I absolutely love hot cross buns. Never made them before, so this is this is going to be fun because if I if I end up making this and um, it turns out amazing, believe me, I'll be making these probably monthly and not just around Easter. Why not, right? Okay, so that's the dry ingredients all taken care of. You don't have to keep the bowl separate, it's just to throw everything in the same bowl, but I like to do that just because, um, well, just because. I like the wet ingredients separate, just make sure it gets all whisked together and then we'll throw it into the dry mixture. That's the orange zest, the butter, and cool, one egg. there's no shells in there and the warm milk and you know I like to keep my cameras and work area nice and clean and organized I can't stand to have too much going on and so I clean as I go just mix that together it's now ready for our dry bowl I'm gonna just 
Put everything in there. Now I've got this Moulin X. Uh, it's called a Premix, and I've got the. Um, it's actually a really, really handy machine. It does dough, and these are the dough hooks. And um, as I said, I don't have one of those fancy KitchenAid. I'm gonna put this on low speed to start. Turn up the speed to medium, or maybe number two. The whole idea is to uh, avoid kneading it by hand. So we're going to be using this machine and mixing our dough. At the same time, it's kneading it as well. So we'll do this for a few minutes. When I see that the dough is starting to pull away from the edge of the bowl, I'll add in my raisins. Get the raisins. Smells wonderful. These are very large raisins. I'm good with that. I love raisins. Some people are not too keen on them. I don't know why. They're so sweet. They're just so nice. I'm going to stop this for just a minute. So that's what it's starting to look like. It is starting to pull away from the edges of the bowl, and that's what we want. We do want a, uh, a silky smooth um, dough. I'm going to give it another, probably another two, three minutes of uh, kneading with the electric um, mixer. So there's the consistency after five minutes of kneading with the electric mixer. We have a nice, silky smooth dough. So I'm just floured the surface of my uh, camera. I'm still very weak on my right arm. Hello. All I'm gonna do here is just knead for probably 30 seconds or so. I wanna get those raisins distributed a little bit better in this dough. We're just going to, this part I've done with over the years, just kneading, use the palm of your, um, of your hands. Just keep doing that for about 30 seconds. It's looking very, very nice. to this. Okay, it's about 30 seconds. It's looking something else. Looking very, very sexy. Sexy doll. Okay. Let's do the test. Bingo! When it springs back up, that means you're good to go. So, we're gonna place this in a greased bowl. I'm gonna cover it with plastic. Boy, I'm all the way down there. It doesn't have to be plastic, as long as you have it covered and then you have it in the, um, the bowls in a warm area. And the goal is to double in size. So let's proof this for a couple of hours and I'll see you soon. Are you guys ready for this? Wow. That's more than doubled. I've lined a 9 by 13 metal pan with parchment paper overhanging on both ends. Next thing is I'm going to roll this out and cut them into our uh, small pieces. We're going to get 12. I'm going to roll them out and I'll show you how. All right, well, I just took the dough out of the container. It more than doubled uh, proof, which is great. I've rolled it out. I've taken out the air and um, I'm just gonna roll it out. It's so, so soft. I'm gonna cut 12 rolls, 12 balls. Okay, so I've got 12 balls here. And what we're gonna do is just gonna do that 
roll them around a bit with some flour and just fold them. Raisins to this. So the tops are nice and smooth as such. You want to pinch the bottom. And that's what we want. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing these and place them in the um, parchment paper pan and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready. So this is what they look like. They're all ready to go for their second proof. We're going to put some uh, plastic wrap. I'm going to slightly grease the plastic wrap so they don't get stuck on the dough and then we're going to proof it for another 45 minutes. Okay, there's the second proof. They look gorgeous. Next step is flour and water, which I've already combined. I'm going to add just a bit more flour to this mixture. I just find it a little too runny. The goal here is to make it thick enough where I can pipe it onto the rolls. Just a little bit more. Let's try that. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a, a Ziploc or just a plain plastic bag. Fill up the bag and just snip the one corner and just use that for piping. And I'll show you how I'll do it. I think that's better. Thank you. The regular bag, fill up the bag with the mixture, so far I'm feeling confident, as I said earlier in the video, this is my first attempt at making hot cross buns and uh, they look pretty good so far. You want to get the corner of the bag. There we go. I'm just going to make a small cut. And let's see how I'll do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It might be a little runny. I should have made it a little thicker. But again, it's my first attempt at making these, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit, right? Just waiting for the oven to heat up to 375 Fahrenheit. And there you have it. I can't wait. I can get our orange glaze ready. And I've got orange marmalade. Remember, we have orange zest in our rolls, hot cross buns. One and a half tablespoons of orange marmalade. And I'll just leave that out until I'm ready to add a little bit of hot water. I'll stir that up so that it becomes more of a a glaze and we'll glaze, place the glaze, brush the glaze over the buns when they come out of the oven. I think our oven is preheated. Let me just double check. Yep, it's 375 so it's ready to go. I'm going to place the buns in the oven. We'll bake them for about 20 minutes or so. Well, let's see how they turned out. Yeah, baby. Looking good. Nice. That's 20 minutes. So I've just taken them out of the uh, pan. 
They're sitting on the counter. The next step here is to put our orange glaze. It's actually orange marmalade with just a little bit of water. And we want to put this on while the buns are still hot. Can't wait to dig in. You can eat these with uh, warm with butter or just plain. Put cream cheese, jam, whatever way you want to eat them. Totally up to you. continue putting the glaze and then I'll pull one apart and you'll see what it looks like on the inside. Here's the final verdict. They're fluffy. I'll let them cool down just a little bit as I had shown previously we have the orange marmalade glaze on top. You could add um, an icing sugar glaze if you want. It probably will be better. And the reason why I'm saying that is I, I did take, take a little bite of the one and I didn't find it very sweet, even with the raisins in there. So I think the next time I make these, I'm gonna double up on the sugar. I think that's the only thing I would say uh, about this particular recipe. Overall, I'm giving it a thumbs up. My first attempt, I'm pretty proud of myself. I hope you guys try it out and if you do, let me know how you do and um, send a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys um, think. On a rainy afternoon, this is just going to hit the spot. Nice glass of milk or even a tea. It's going to be delicioso. I'll show you the inside of one, the one that I started picking at. It's very moist. They're not dried out, which is perfect. That's mine.